Supreme Court ruling striking down Texas controversial abortion law. Today's decision involves a law passed back in 2013. It forced dozens of abortion clinics in Texas to close. But today the high court voted five to three, ruling the regulations were not medically necessary. The ruling also found the law unconstitutionally restricts a woman's right to an abortion. Immediately after the ruling came down, leaders across Texas and the nation began sounding off. Channel 2's Phil Archer is live. And Phil, we just heard from Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick on this ruling. Yeah, he was talking about the state's now former abortion law, one of the most restrictive in the country. Almost two dozen clinics in Texas, like this one, closed down after it was passed. Today, the lieutenant governor again insisted that the law ensured women's health, but a majority of the Supreme Court did not agree with it. The ruling prompted cheers outside the Supreme Court building. Supporters reacting to the justices striking down provisions of Texas abortion law by a five to three vote. The justices threw out a law requiring Texas abortion clinics to provide the same standards as outpatient surgical centers and requiring doctors to have admitting privileges at local hospitals. This ruling is just shocking. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick joined a chorus of Texas officials, including Governor Greg Abbott and the state attorney general, decrying the ruling. We will revisit the issue. I mean, we're, we're going to go through this line by line and see what it is um, that we can address in a way that a Supreme Court would approve. Writing for the court majority, Justice Stephen Breyer said the law provided few, if any, health benefits and posed a substantial obstacle to women seeking abortions. Pro-choice advocates, including Planned Parenthood and former Texas State Senator Wendy Davis, who filibustered the bill three years ago, called the decision a victory. The court recognized that this law was a sham that the arguments that somehow this was going to protect women's health was absolutely disingenuous. They saw right through it. Since the law was passed in 2013, 23 of 42 Texas abortion clinics have closed. 19 clinics currently remain open. The ruling today now stands as the court's most decisive ruling on abortion in 25 years, and it jeopardizes similar laws in 12 other states. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.